Hi there. I recently watched a documentary film uh, on minimalism. Uh, the idea came across when I saw a video on YouTube by a photographer by the name of Matt Day talking about the fact that he was reducing his, I guess you could say reducing his gear acquisition syndrome, his gas, something that I have had videos on in the past. If you look back, if you haven't already seen them, you look back, you'll find that I have done a couple of videos dealing with, you know, basically having too much gear. Uh, that started me thinking again. Now, I, I've been trying to rationalize my photography gear now for about a year. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of things. I've sold a lot of things. I've sold two cameras. I've sold... Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six lenses. Uh, but when I look around, I still have a lot of things I'm, I'm not sure what to do with. Then a friend of mine uh, sent me a message. And the message basically was, I have these two old cameras. They don't work. They were my father's. I'm, I'm trying to declutter what should I do? My answer was based on the philosophy shown in the minimalism video, and that is, do they have meaning to you? If something has meaning to you, if you're collecting something, but not, not this irrational, oh, I've got to have them all collection, but a real honest-to-God collection. Like, let's just say you've read a lot of books and you like to have the books. You like to go back and take them down and look at them now and then, maybe even reread them then that means something to you. That collection of books is not just window dressing. It's, it's real. It has an emotional attachment. As a result, you keep your books. Some of the cameras I have. I have the camera that my mother used to take a, a few of the very scant number of family pictures that we had. That has value to me because that was my mother's. That was something that she was given by my uh, Aunt Amelia many years before. It's an old Ansco with a flash. Uh, I like it. Uh, another thing that I have is the, uh, the old Kodak Retinette that uh, my wife's father used to take slides from somewhere in the late 1950s, early 60s, right on up to the 1980s. This camera was everywhere. And this was an entirely manual camera, no light meter, zone focusing, the whole thing, and his slides, many of them are magnificent. That camera stays with me, even though the film advance on it now is broken. Uh, but I've got an old gaff, a screw mount SLR. The bottom is falling off, the skin's been ripped off, it doesn't work. It's not even a pretty paperweight. It doesn't even have any aesthetic value. I have old cameras that don't work, that have aesthetic value. That I like to look at them. I like to pick them up and play with them now and then. They, they just look cool. They have some meaning to me. The two cameras I mentioned have meaning to me. I've got a little 110 camera that I took on my first trip away from Newfoundland. I got some great pictures with that little camera. That little camera stays in my collection. I've got the original uh, Instamatic X15, which was my first real camera of my own. And that I still have in the original box. So it has meaning to me. It always did. It belongs in my collection. But other things are just dust collectors. So guys, when you look at the things you have, don't bury yourself in stuff. That's the problem. People are burying themselves in stuff. I need more stuff. I need this year's camera because last year's camera is two frames per second slower. Okay, how many times do you use the full speed of the burst mode? Oh, I, I did it a couple of times last... Hold on. A couple of times? You're going to spend hundreds, possibly even thousands of dollars for the next model camera, just because it's that tiny little bit faster, when you really had no problem with the camera before. 
I mean, if you've got a first-generation digital SLR with a 6 megapixel uh, sensor that'll shoot, you know, two and a half frames per second and takes forever to focus, do you need to upgrade? Probably. But we're talking about a camera now that's over 10 years old. Uh, if you've got last year's, well, let's use Olympus as an example since I'm shooting this on Olympus. What if you have an, uh, uh, an EM1? And now the EM1 Mark II is out. And is the Mark II a better camera? Yes. Does it have huge capabilities? Yes. But the EM1 was a great camera. And no, it's not as fast. No, it doesn't shoot great video. No, 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 no to a lot of things. Smaller battery and so on. But is it still a capable camera? Yes. If you were taking the images you wanted to take with it last year, then why do you need the new one this year? Now, I'm not trying to put camera companies out of business, but this rampant consumerism that tells us we have to buy the next model because... Guys, take a long, hard look at the because, please. Uh, I'm a bit of a cheapskate when it comes to camera gear, I admit it. I've had very few brand new cameras. Uh, in fact, I think it comes down to maybe three. The rest have been uh, either used or, well, or used, <laughs> pre-owned, if we want to be politically correct. All right, folks, that's about all I have to say about that. If you have things that mean something to you, if it has aesthetic value, you like to look at it on a shelf, if it has sentimental value, it means something to you because of some past connection, or if it has functional value, if there is still something that you will take occasionally and use, then by all means keep it. However, if all it's doing is taking up closet space, then first of all, see if someone else wants it. Try selling it. If selling it doesn't work, then give it away. Last resort toss it in the bin. But that is a last resort because we don't need more junk in our already overfilled, because of our rampant consumerism, our already overfilled landfills. So if you can find an alternate use for it, please do. Uh, meanwhile, uh, if you like this video, click like. If you want to see more of my videos, click subscribe. And of course, uh, if you think somebody might get something useful from this video, then don't forget to click share. Bye for now. I think I'll go declutter something.